a few ways to do this question. So I'm going to work out what 49% of 200 is to start with. And that is actually 49 over 100 times 200. So these cancel out and I get 98. So that means he won 98 and he must have lost 102. So to get exactly 50% in the smallest number of games possible, he's going to need to have won 102 and lost 102. So win all the remaining ones. And that just means winning four. So the answer is going to be four. Um, if you don't quite see it like that way, you know, you don't realize the loss, you could obviously just try some numbers out. So maybe compare, you know, we've got, um, if you've won the next two games, it'll be 100 out of 202, which is not quite there. And then you could add on another two, you know, just sort of trial and error at 102 out of 24, which is 100%. And I, I kind of did it. Uh, when I did it without trial and error, but using the same sort of approach. So I said, right, 198 is going to have to win an extra X games. And uh, if I divide that by the total number of games played, it's going to be 200 plus X, because obviously that gets added on as well. And that needs to be a half of the games. So I set up an equation. But I don't think it's unnecessary. This is like, this is the best approach, but this is, you know, I didn't, I didn't spot it. Um, so now I've cross multiply. So times by 2 and times by 200 plus x, 196 plus 2x is equal to 200 plus x. And this can be solved to give x equals 4.